Hi folks and welcome to Brown Fournier's blog. For those who really thought I was Brown Fournier's son, I'm really sorry to tell you that I'm not his. So, my real name is Laurent Fournier and I'm 19 years old. I have been studying pure and applied science at the Cégep of saint saint for two years. I will receive my diploma at the end of this semester if everything goes as planned. I am planning to go at the ETS University in Montreal to become an engineer. Also, I love sports and I have played a lot of them in my life. I have played soccer, hockey, golf, training, and more. This is why I call my blogs by Ron's name. So let's get back to the real stuff. Today I will show you how to use some features of the famous virtual writing tutor sites. So first of all, let's just start by opening the site like this. The simplest command turns out to be the first in the middle left of the screen called count words just here. The name says it. It serves to count the numbers of words present in a text. Also, we will learn the usefulness of the check grammar button just here. This one will help us to find mistakes through the text. And finally, we will erase the text with the clear button just here. This text in blue will be used throughout the video. So we start by selecting this blue text and copy it into Virtual Writing Tutor, just like that. Then we click on the Count Word button and this will appear. So first of all, we can know the numbers of words present throughout the text. So for this text, it's 97 words. Secondly, we can know the numbers of sentences present throughout the text. And for this one, it's five sentences. And finally, we can know the average number of words present per sentence. And for this one, it's 20 words per sentence. And, that, and that's pretty much it for this option. So after this, we click on the check grammar button just here, and this will appear. Again, the, the numbers of words remains there. But the numbers of errors among those words are counted and detected like this. So they give us again the error density of 2%. Let's take the second mistake just here. So first of all, Virtual Writing Tutor uh, tells us what we have badly written with a simple de description of the word. Here they, they, they said, a vegetarian does not eat foods that consist of or have been produced with the aid of products consisting of or created from any part of the body of a living or dead animal. Then they give us a, f a feedback to know what to do to get rid of the mistake. For this example, the feedback said, This is usually uncountable. Remove the S from the this word, food. So that's pretty much it for this option. And finally, when you are finished to work with this text, in example, you just have to clear, click here on this the clear button and the text disappear. So thank you very much for your, your listening and see you next time. I'm lying on my side and I'm wondering